I often get questions and accusations thrown at me regarding my stance or my look on poverty or being poor or being broke. Have you ever wondered why some folks seem to be swimming in success while others barely keep their heads above water? Hey there, welcome back to the Finance Ooh channel. Today, I'll dive deep into the reasons why most people find themselves in a financial struggle. Let's find out. According to Ramsey, let's face it, there are a ton of myths out there parading around as truth. But the real truth is that these myths keep people, well, broke. Absolutely. I resonate with Dave Ramsey's perspective on these myths about money. Indeed, so many misleading ideas are out there that keep people trapped in financial struggles. Let me share my feedback. Dave Ramsey is absolutely spot on here. It's astonishing how many myths about money have been parading around as truths for far too long. I can admit that I've fallen prey to some of these myths myself. Whether it was accumulating credit cards without thinking about the consequences or assuming that debt was just a part of life, I've been there. One of the most insidious myths I bought into was that my Flaco score defined my financial worth. It's incredible how we're conditioned to believe that a three-digit number can make or break us financially. But it's just a piece of the puzzle, not the whole picture. The good news is that acknowledging these myths is the first step towards financial enlightenment. Once you realize that these so-called truths are misconceptions, you can embark on a journey toward financial peace. Now let's break down Dave Ramsey's insights on why most people are broke, focusing on the three possible reasons. Listen to this. There's a difference between being poor and being broke. Poor is a state of mind, broke is I'm passing through. I've been broke, but I've never been poor. I've been so broke I couldn't pay attention, but I've never been poor. Dave Ramsey is spot on when he emphasizes the distinction between being poor and being broke. He eloquently defines poor as a state of mind, while broke is merely a temporary situation one passes through. His words resonate with the idea that poverty is not just about financial status, but also about one's mindset and attitude toward adversity. This would be the first of three reasons why most people are broke. 1. The Money Mindset Imagine your mind as the control center for your financial life. Dave Ramsey emphasizes that the first crucial step to financial wisdom is understanding and nurturing your money mindset. But what exactly does that mean? Your financial journey begins in your mind, which serves as the cockpit that steers your economic direction. It's not just about dollars and cents, it's about your money mindset. Dave distinguishes two mindsets, scarcity and abundance. The scarcity mindset is rooted in constant worry about bills and a belief in limited money. It's like navigating life with a scarcity filter. In contrast, the abundance mindset sees endless opportunities and attainable financial success, finding potential where others see obstacles. Dave Ramsey emphasizes that your money mindset can make or break your financial journey. Dwelling on scarcity may create financial roadblocks, but embracing abundance and possibilities unlocks your true economic potential. Simply put, your money mindset sets the tone for your financial life. It influences your decisions, actions, and ultimately, your financial success. Dave Ramsey's message is clear. It's time to evaluate your mindset, shed the scarcity mentality, and embrace a perspective that can lead you to financial freedom and abundance. Your mind is a powerful tool. Use it wisely to chart a course toward financial success and peace. Next, Dave Ramsey said, The second reason it's no fault of the person that has is poor or in poverty is when other people oppress the poor. That's a biblical term. You don't hear that much anymore, to be oppressed to be put down, to be taken advantage of. And you see that in, in developing countries as well as, you know, a, a thriving economy like the United States. There's plenty of, you go in the poor area of town, you will see the businesses that feed on the poor. The second reason why most people are broke, as highlighted by Dave Ramsey, is the unfortunate reality of others oppressing people experiencing poverty. This term, though not as commonly used nowadays, holds deep significance. To be oppressed means to be unfairly treated, pushed down, or taken advantage of, 
and this issue is not limited to developing countries. It exists even in thriving economies like the United States. If you walk through the less affluent areas of town, you'll often find businesses that prey on the vulnerable financial situations of the people living there. These businesses include check cashing services, title pawn shops, rent-to-own stores, and payday lenders. Interestingly, you won't encounter these establishments in the wealthier parts of town. Why? Because financially secure individuals avoid such options, like the plague, knowing just how detrimental and short-term their effects can be. These businesses exploit the vulnerable, acting as parasites and perpetuating poverty. It's not the fault of those facing financial challenges. It's a systemic problem. You must recognize the harm and work on solutions. Here's what you can do if you're in such circumstances. 1. Seek support. Reach out to friends, family, and community organizations for guidance during tough times. 2. Education yourself. Knowledge about personal finance is vital to breaking the cycle of poverty. Explore financial education resources and advice to make informed decisions. 3. Take small steps. Incremental progress can lead to significant change. Start with a budget, savings plan, and income-generating opportunities. 4. Advocate for change. Support policies and initiatives that regulate businesses profiting from financial hardship. Remember, your financial situation does not define your worth. With determination and support, you can build a brighter financial future and contribute to breaking the cycle of poverty in your community. Lastly, this is the most crucial reason you must know why most people are broke. Hear this out. The third reason people are poor is stupid decisions. When I went broke, it wasn't because anybody oppressed me. It's because I was stupid. It was stupid decisions. Had I continued to make those stupid decisions, I would continue to be broke. There's a cause and effect of sowing and reaping in our lives. The third reason Dave Ramsey identifies for financial hardship is personal responsibility for poor decisions. He believes that when he went broke, it wasn't due to oppression, but rather his foolish choices. According to him, if you continue making poor decisions, you'll likely remain in financial distress. He emphasizes the concept of cause and effect in our lives, likening it to sowing and reaping. While external factors matter, our decisions and habits significantly impact our financial well-being. Taking control through informed choices, good money habits, and financial education is essential. Here's your action plan. 1. Self-awareness. Recognize that financial decisions have consequences. Take a moment to assess your money habits honestly. 2. Learn from your mistakes. Past financial errors can be valuable lessons. Use them to make smarter choices going forward. 3. Seek guidance. Consider consulting financial experts or using budgeting tools and financial literacy programs to enhance your money knowledge. 4. Stay persistent. Building wealth and financial stability requires time and effort. Stay committed to positive financial changes. Remember, your past doesn't solely define your financial future. Making informed decisions and taking responsibility for your choices can pave the way for a more secure and prosperous future. Dave Ramsey's insights on why most people find themselves in financial struggles offer a valuable roadmap to financial freedom. They serve as a reminder that your financial destiny is in your hands. Your money mindset, ability to resist financial oppression, and choices are all within your control. Remember, you have the power to shape your financial future. Cultivate a positive money mindset, learn from past mistakes, seek guidance when needed, and stay persistent. Your journey towards financial stability may have challenges, but by making informed decisions and taking responsibility for your financial choices, you can work towards a more secure and prosperous future. There you have it, my fellow enthusiasts, the reasons why most people find themselves in financial turmoil. But remember, you're not most people. You have the power to change your financial story. If you found this video eye-opening and inspiring, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Stay tuned for more empowering content to help you transform your financial life. Until next time, keep dreaming, believing, and taking those steps toward your brighter financial future.